Personally, spoiler alert, man made it to the finals, you get me? And basically, that vlog star challenge, I managed to make it to the finals. Basically, you get to showcase your video at BAFTA. And obviously, at the time, man had a crush in it. We'll call her Olivia, yeah? We'll call her Olivia for this, for this video. And basically, Olivia, obviously, I had like a huge, huge, big crush on Olivia, right? And this is after Jennifer, by the way. So this is years after Jennifer. Man invited her. I didn't want her to feel uncomfortable. Since I could invite two people, I invited her and a friend. See, look at me being bare considering. And then I, boom, yeah, make it to BAFTA. We're having like a lot of fun, you know what I'm saying? I'm surrounded by like-minded people. Um, there was a couple of YouTubers I've absolutely never heard of. I don't even remember the names, but apparently there were big deals. They were there. Obviously, I didn't win. I didn't even get runners up. I was just there for But really and truly, like, it was one of the greatest experiences that led me to continue this YouTube channel. So, I really do owe it to Vlogstar to continue this one because I just fell in love with content creating, making films, making whatever. So, basically, yeah, cool. We wrap everything up there and we're on the way home. Yeah, but obviously we would decide to go stop for some food for some Chinese, right? So my sister is the one driving. My friend's well no, my Olivia's friend is in the front. And me, I'm in the back with Olivia, you get me? So cool. Bless us, bless us, bless. My sister, like we make it out to the Chinese restaurant. My sister says, guys, just stay in the car, just go get a take one, you know. But there was a long, long line. And she said, yeah, I'll just be in there for like a couple minutes or whatever. So yeah, cool. Nice. Right? Dude, you have no idea how nervous I was. Like, my heart was just pounding. Pounding. <laughs> and then, eventually, um, I don't know, like, we kind of like started talking, right? So, you know, just holding the conversation. And then, you know, she kind of squeezed a little closer to me. And obviously me, I'm like, alright. Let me let me fill up this gap. You get me? And at this point we're actually holding hands. I, honestly, if the night ended on that, I'd have been so happy. You have no idea. Because right? obviously Olivia, like, I, I'm not sure whether she knew, but I had the hugest crush on her. Then she kinda like goes like like this to me, right? That's a little gesture. And I'm, obviously I'm just like Right? Obviously, I'm just like, yeah, I'll see you. I was just like, damn, yeah? So you see, it, innit? Then, um, basically, like, she does it again, yeah? And I don't know what took over, but back then, trust me when I say I had, like, zero confidence. Like, I, I started building up my confidence, really, so. I just said, you know what, you're alone. And then, basically, I was just like, yo, do that again, see what happens, innit? She does it, again. Obviously, that's when man just leaned in, leaned in, leaned in, and then, mwah. and me, I thought we were just going to leave it at our pet, but nah, man, we were going in, you get me, like, we were going in, it was, it was beautiful, it was really, really beautiful, yeah, I 
Olivia, obviously if you're watching this, don't feel embarrassed, yeah. It's just my way of telling the story. It was it was amazing. For me, I'm not sure about you. I was probably terrible back then. Obviously I'm a lot better now, yeah. But don't even worry about that, yeah. But listen, yeah. Really and truly, that was probably the best night of my life. That year. No cap. That was easily the best night. I can say that without a doubt. I never felt so good in my life, right? And obviously, yeah, you know, a couple of days go by. Man is texting all over here now, yeah? Man is telling, telling her how man feels, isn't it? <laughs> man got rejected. I, I got rejected hard, dude. I got rejected. Like, not like friend zone, but like, sh just, I got rejected hard, dude. Obviously, I told her how I feel and I want to be my girl, but she was then telling me, Oh, I need to focus on my school. And I didn't obviously I understand. And I said, I'll wait for you. Like an idiot. Man, bloody hell. One season of this guy, you get me? I was like, What? I was heartbroken for a very, very, very long time. Yeah, man. Basically, that's the quickest and most efficient rundown of my first. And that's it. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Be sure to comment what you thought about that story. Um, definitely comment uh, what other stories you want to hear from me. But aside from that, I will see you guys in the next video. You guys have an amazing day or night, wherever the hell you are. I'll catch you guys. Peace. Bye. I can tell what it feels like up all night. We ain't for do like. I can tell what it feels like. I had a meal since last night. Uh, I can tell what it feels like. Better know this shit is real life. Nigga, this is real life. Nigga, this is real life.